Hi guys, welcome back to my Save Space Kitchen. So today, I'm going to be making Ghana style chicken soup. This soup is very popular. It is flavorful and it's just beautiful. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to add some of my homemade pepper sauce to elevate the flavors to a whole nother level. But in the meantime, if this is your first time coming across my page, this is my Safe Space Kitchen. I make cooking videos and I try to make it as fun as possible. Hit on that subscribe button and hit on the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Now, let's get into this beautiful recipe. <laughs> As always, all ingredients will be listed in the description down below. So here I have a whole chicken. I went ahead and cleaned it really well. Then I diced up some shallots and some ginger. That is part of the steaming process for my um, meat. So here I have some carrots, some garden eggs, and some hot pepper. That I will go ahead and cook that on the side. Um, here I have a cube of my homemade herb marinade. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description down below. Feel free to check it out. I have some garlic, some shallots, and some ginger. Now, if you don't care for um, shallots, feel free to use onions. It's perfectly fine. They're all in the same family. It doesn't matter. Here I have my homemade tomato sauce. If you have not seen that video, feel free to check it out. I will link it here as well. And also my pepper marinade. This is also another beautiful sauce. If you haven't seen that, I will link that as well. And on this tray, I have some spices. So my homemade herb spices. Oh, not herb spices, just my homemade all pepper spice. I'm sorry. And then I have some onion seed and some chicken seasoning. I will blend all of this with my um, onion, garlic, ginger, and that will be going um, that would be the main thing that I would use to steam my um, chicken, okay? So it goes with that and then I'll blend all of that together. So um, that's basically most of the um, ingredients. Anything else that I didn't show will come later and like I said, I will link everything down below. So I go ahead and blend my onion, my garlic, my ginger, like I said, with my onion seed, my chicken seasoning, and my um, all-purpose um, all spice. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I pour that in here and I rinse my blender just a little bit, pour that onto it, and I mix it in really well. And then the next thing that I do is I go ahead and add my homemade tomato sauce in here. I go ahead and give my um, my little boy a little bit of a rinse and I pour that as well. And then I add my homemade pepper sauce. I know what you're thinking. Why would you add that into your soup? Because, you know, it's pepper is sweet peppers. But listen to me, you guys. This thing will elevate your soup to a whole different level. It's just, it's really that good. And yes, I had a little spill. So I had to clean my stove. There is no way I was going to move move on without cleaning it. I just couldn't do it. So um, I had to clean it. So once I have all of um, my sauces and the rest of the ingredients in my pot, I go ahead and give it a nice mix to make sure everything is nice and well incorporated. And I go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Um, my salt always comes in at the last minute. So then I mix my salt in there to make sure it is nice and well incorporated with the other ingredients. Then I go ahead and cover this and cook this for about 10 minutes on low heat. And this is what it looks like. It's cooking beautifully, as you can see. So we're just gonna let it cook for a little bit more. So my vegetable has cooked beautifully. It is done. This is what it looks like. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead and blend my vegetables. But before that, I go ahead and give my meat a little bit of a stir and then just simply blend my vegetables and just pour it into my pot. Now, if you want, you can strain your vegetables. By straining it, it's going to give your soup a lighter feel. But um, I chose not to strain it. I normally don't strain it. Also, if you have a good quality um, blender you really don't need to strain it because it really would not leave you with that pulpy texture right so if you have a good quality blender don't worry about straining it there it really doesn't matter but if you want your soup to be light you know like on purpose then definitely strain it I think that helps so I go ahead and add water until I feel like I've added enough water and then um I will go ahead and taste it 
and I add a little bit of my tomato bouillon which is another type of chicken seasoning I prefer this one to the regular chicken seasoning but regardless if you have this it works if you don't it doesn't matter use your chicken seasoning and then I go ahead and give it a taste test then I simply just let this cook right so everything from here on is gonna be cooked on low heat like just like that so just give it time to just cook on low heat So after five to six minutes, this is what my soup looks like and it's looking really good. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my fresh basil. Now I add my fresh basil at this time because I want it to be pungent in my soup. I actually want you to smell the basil at the door, okay? Before you walk into my kitchen, you are going to be smelling all of the beautiful flavors, all of the beautiful spices, okay? And so I go ahead and do my last taste test and then I adjust my seasonings and my salt. So as you can see I added a little bit of salt and I go ahead and let this cook for another five more minutes and after five minutes this is what my soup looks like it's looking really good and it's done you see that soup reduction line that is my indication that my soup is done and you guys this is how Ghana style chicken soup is made the only difference is I added my homemade pepper sauce which did nothing but elevated this soup to a different level and quite new home and quite new home <laughs> anyway this is the end of this video I wanted to show you guys what I was gonna be having with my chicken soup today and I'm gonna be having it with my fufu fufu is simply just plantain with cassava and we just pound it and this is what it looks like so yeah you guys this is the end of this video thank you all so much for the support thank you so much for helping me grow my channel i appreciate every single one of you and until next time i'll see you in my next video